Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial. This time we are covering, once again, how to host a server for modded Minecraft. Now, the first thing you want to do is load up Hamachi. So, it will look something like this. Here, I will have blacked it out, but this is where, you know, some information will be. It'll be a bunch of numbers. That'll be your IPv4 address. If you right-click that, you can see copy IPv4 address and copy IPv6. All you have to worry about is the number 4. That's the one. So first things first, you might already have a network. If you don't, it'll tell you to create a network. We go up here and we click create a new network and you get to pick your network ID. This will have to be a completely original name. You can't have two of the same name. So we will do sky tutorial for the sake of this video and then type in a password. This will be a password that you have to give your friend. So don't make it a normal password that you use uh, for private accounts and things like that. Click create. It will show up here, and once your friend joins, they will show up underneath here. So I will give that information to my friend via Discord, just by telling him what the name was and what the password was. And it is case sensitive, so I will have to make sure that he puts in the capital T, the capital S, and same for the password. Okay? Okay, as you can see, he has joined. Once again here, I have blackened out what his IP is, and I'll black out the numbers that happen when I right-click his name. You'll see it will say ping. And we'll also say diagnose here. Now, if you're ever having issues, make sure you click this. This will send you through to a system that tells you whether it's an issue with your firewall, whatever the issue is, it'll try to tell you what it is, right? You can do the same thing if we go up here and click help. We will have the diagnostic tool and that's to diagnose our own connection. So you want to do that to check everything. If it is a firewall issue, I have a really quick tutorial over on my Discord. If you don't want to go there, however, you can just Google it and you should find what you're looking for pretty easily. So... We don't have to worry about what his IP is. He will just have to worry what our IP is. Now, if I was joining him, we could do it the exact same way that you just saw, only I would use his IP. So, once he's in the network, we can head over back into our mod pack. It can be any mod pack. In fact, some mod packs, the other way to host the server, which is by downloading the server files, that might not work. For instance, for my Valhalsia playthrough, I couldn't get my friends to join it for whatever reason, but this new method works really well. So we'll go into single player. I have a world here already, but I will create a new one just to show you how it works. This is uh, the Sky Factory world creation, which is, looks a bit different. We'll click the tutorial one so no one falls off the edge. Um, all of this looks fine. We'll click create new world. Now this will take a little while. I'll be back once we have loaded in. Oh yeah, as you can see, we have loaded in. Uh, if I hold tab, it, we, we see that there's no, normally a player list shows up here and it doesn't show up. That's because we are just in the single player world we created. But what we will do, is we'll click over into land. Now, before you freak out and say, hey, my friend doesn't, he's not on the same network. How will he join my land server? That is what Hamachi does. Hamachi allows your friend who's on a completely different network. They could be in a completely different country. It allows them to join your LAN worlds. Okay, so we click LAN, leave the same and click start world. Now, at the bottom, this will show up. Local game hosted on port and then there'll be a bunch of numbers here. Uh, usually it's around six numbers. I, uh, five numbers, I think. I can't count, apparently. <laughs> I will blacken this out so you won't see the numbers that I've got, but these numbers, I will want to give to my friend, and what he will do is he will copy the IPv4 from Hamachi, so there'll be a bunch of numbers. I'll just write IPv4, but this will be the numbers that you're given instead, not literally IPv4. Then you'll put this symbol, I believe it's called a colon, so the two dots, two vertical dots, you'll place that, and then you'll copy the five-digit port. So it'll look something like this. But obviously, these will be a bunch of numbers that you get from Hamachi. And this will be the port. So I'll have to give my friend this port. I'll tell him that. He'll type in the IPv4, do the colon, and type in the port. And he should be able to join just like you would join any normal server. So I'll do that. Okay, so it's shown up for him. And I believe he's joining. Uh, we can step back. Server. Now, Logging in. for some reason, when I hold down tab, the the player list doesn't show up. Oh, now it does. So I assume you have to have an extra person join. But as you can see, here he is. I can press the chat open, and you can see it is the exact same world. We haven't like cut to a different hosted server. It's all the same. And he can say hello. He's a he's a real person. He exists. <laughs> and he's a villain apparently. <laughs> He's a <laughs> villain. We are falling really far. Are we about to land on the world again? Wait. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Hey. What? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you guys get the point. The, the, <laughs> the server works. I didn't know that would happen. Oh, I think I'm about to die here. Yep. Okay. I mean, it works. You can see it works. Oh, here we are. Yep. We got our stuff back. We've got a nice cup of coffee. And everything works. So this works for any mod pack that has the ability to open to land. And, and, and that's how you do it. There's nothing else to it. It's as simple as that. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer you. Uh, if you're having any issues um, over on my Discord, I have a few tutorials. So I also have one that will give you... It'll make sure that you find the right IP... Yeah, the right IPv4 address. Sometimes, uh, I think it's to do with who your service provider is. Hamachi will give you the wrong number, completely wrong number, but you can find it by looking in your uh, command prompt, so in your CMD. So I have a tutorial for that as well, as well as the Hamachi firewall fix, if you guys have any issues there. <laughs> Apparently, my friend here is uh, deciding to play. Uh, is Vein Miner on? Uh yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy and if this did help you, please do subscribe. We're trying to get to 700 subs by the end of the month. And uh, if you enjoy this content and you enjoy some other content, you can also check out uh, Ruff's channel. I should have a link to that in the description too, if I remember. But he's a villain, so I might not. He has a sword, apparently. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> no. Oh, you're not even there. What? Gah! Yes. <laughs>